Go. Hey. Hey, Pop, who hasn't ordered? Well, everybody's good. I got you covered. She's coming from the hospital now? Yeah. You kept that boy in overnight. Yeah, still in ICU. It's terrible. Yeah. Yeah? I hate to see anyone get hurt. Pop, just leave it for once. There's just two sides to every story. There's two sides to Sean being beaten so hard he might have brain damage? What's the second side to that, Dad? Well, you don't give somebody a beating like that unless you got a reason. Are you good here? Because I'm going to take a walk. Jenny, listen to me, please. I know you like Tommy. And I don't think he's a bad kid. It's just that it's like something is in their blood. No matter how hard they try to do good, that blood is always going to seep through. And it poisons whatever it touches. Gosh, Dad. Why didn't you ever tell me you felt this way? Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Dad! What are you doing? What? Putting the money in the mailbox. What are you talking about? Making a deposit. You're at the mailbox. Dad, the bank's over there. Oh. I guess I got a little confused. Um, thought I was going to mail a letter, but I was going to the bank. Lucky thing you stopped me. Yeah. No big deal. Okay. Let's go home. Okay. What'll it be? We need to talk. About what? Protection. I'm doing that kind of work now. Taking care of the neighborhood. You want to keep using that good leg, you better turn around right now. Here's the deal. 50 bucks a week, and I'll be sure to tailor my services to whatever you think you need. You're nothing but a piece of crap. Well, you should be thanking me. I'm giving you a break here because we've known each other a long time. I'm charging you a quarter of what everyone else has to pay. Oh, you're a real prince. Get the hell out of my diner. Oh, oh, ah, you punk! Oh, ah. I got one for you. What's the difference between chopped beef and pea soup? You're not going to tell that one again. I want to hear it. Everyone could chop beef, but not everyone could pea soup. All right. Here you go, me lads. What the hell's this? What? 15 years I'm coming here. I never once ordered eggs and tomatoes. I hate eggs. I hate tomatoes. The only thing I hate worse is when they're together. Shut your mouth. Look at you. Beet red. Just crawled out of the sack. You're half in a bag. You son of a bitch! Get out of your mind! What the hell's the matter with you? Dick! Stop! Dick! Please! Son of a bitch! I'll kill you! Come sit with me. Sorry I scared you yesterday. Just so you know, I am not dating that bearded lady. <laughs> Kind of lost it for a while. And it occurred to me, I'm on the D train. How the hell did that happen? I look up and I'm at Coney Island. It's all different out there now from when your mother and I used to take you there. Remember the twister? You love that. And the cyclone. I went on that. I 
on that arcade where they shoot the ducks and the food and pour him where they made that fudge. I did it all. Sometimes I had you and your mother with me. I can't go talk to the doctor, Ted. Oh. Why? We both know what it is. I've got Alzheimer's. I don't need a doctor to tell me that. Let's just go home. Kevin said you were looking for me. I never liked you. I never liked your whole family. Great. The longer I sit here waiting to ask you what I came to ask you, the more I hate you. You know what, Mr. Riley? All I've done is bend over backwards, kissing your ass, trying to make you happy. You don't like me. I don't like you. Good. Sit down. I want to make you a partner with me in my diner. Excuse me. Yeah. Read that. This building has been deemed structurally unsound. Prepare to vacate the premise subject. This is for the diner? That's why I need your help. I called everybody. Mortgage company says call the buildings department. They say call the mortgage company. Now, what I think you need to do now is call a lawyer. What good is a lawyer gonna be against Doki? Doki? That son of a bitch is behind this. Tried to buy me out. I wouldn't sell. Now he's gonna take it this way. Hey, you. If you wanna listen, come sit down. Otherwise, get the hell away from here. Hey, I wasn't listening. Stop lying. I've known you your whole life. <laughs> Fix this for me. Don't let them take my diner. Fix it and I'll give you half. Okay. Give me this notice in the name and the address of your mortgage company. But you're not giving me half your diner. The hell I'm not. The last thing I want is charity from the likes of you. And my Jenny doesn't know anything about this. And I want to keep it that way. You're welcome, Mr. Riley. Hey. I'm freezing my ass off out here. Yeah. So I'm gonna get right to the point. Stay away from my daughter. Excuse me? Stay away. And not a word to Jenny about this conversation. Why? Because I don't like you. With all due respect, sir, you can't tell me what to do. Here. What's that? Your payoff. You're just like your old man, so I figure you'll take it. I paid your father so his animals wouldn't bust up my diner. Now I'm paying you to stay away from my daughter. My father wouldn't do anything like that, okay? You think that? Think it. But I got the scars to prove that I'm right. And I'm gonna show them to my Jenny. Who do you think she's gonna believe, you or me? She's gonna hate you. I'll make sure of that. Why are you doing this? Because you're his blood. You're the same as he was. Riley was threatening to make Jenny hate Tommy the way Riley hated Tommy's father. Tommy would never admit it to anyone, but he knew Riley could do it. So this uh, boyfriend thing ends now. I'm off tomorrow. We can go to that movie. Movie? Wow, you must feel really sorry for me if you're willing to go see a movie. My dad is going to lend me the car. Dad? What are you talking about? Now, come on, Meredith. Don't make a fool of me now. I told everybody you and me were going to a movie. Go to the movie if you want. What? <laughs> Are you a little tired? 
little bit. Look, all I want to say is this. Very soon, we're going to know if that rat bastard husband of yours is going to be out of our lives once and for all. And uh, we'll, we'll deal with it then. I need to take a nap. Uh, call me if, if it gets busy.